What is going on? Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. Today's a fun one. Today is exciting because we are starting a new um, series and it's gonna be called All About the Fill in the Blank. We're talking all about the Newfoundland. Yes. This is super exciting because there are so many types of dogs out there that no one knows about that could be perfectly fit for their family, but they only know of like all the, you know, really well-known dogs. So we're gonna start out with the Noof, the Noofie. Um, I love those dogs. I grew up with one, her name was Chauncey. She was so cute. I think she was a half Noof, half like lab, but Noofies are the best. And I think we can all agree that they are the most coziest looking dog ever. So let's just get into it. The Newfoundland was developed in the island of Newfoundland. <laughs> so the Newfoundland was developed in the island of Newfoundland, makes sense. And the actual ancestors, like the direct ancestors of the Newfoundland is actually unknown. I've read multiple articles and they don't necessarily know where the Newfie came from, but they do think that they are related to the Pyrenean Mountain Dog. The Pyrenean Mountain Dog accompanied fishermen in the area of Newfoundland. So they believe since Newfoundlands did the same jobs as these Pyrenean Mountain Dogs, that they do believe that they are correlated. In the 18th century, the Newfoundland was sent to Britain and France to help on sailor ships and became really popular with the French sailors. So they became working dogs for the sailors and the fishermen. The Newfie, also known as the Gentle Giant, which we love, was primarily used alongside fishermen, or like we just said, over in Britain and France on sailor boats. But the reason behind that is because they are amazing swimmers. They are extremely strong and they are amazing swimmers. They have webbed paws, okay, and water resistant coats. So they can swim, <laughs> okay? They're just swimming dogs. Not only were they used for helping fishermen pull in the nets from sea to collect all these fish, but they also were used for safety. If there were any, you know, shipwrecks or anything like that, people would bring these noofs out to go save people who were drowning. I mean, even to this day, owners with noofs or Newfoundlands <laughs> will have their kids playing in a pool and the Newfoundland will want to go rescue them because it's just in their DNA. They are rescue dogs. They are the doggy lifeguard of the world. <laughs> they are so great at their tasks and swimming that they were actually required to have two Newfoundlands as equipment at each lifeguard station along the coast of England. They were required to have two Newfoundlands at each lifeguard station on the coast of England because they were so good at rescuing humans. I don't know. I just think that's the most trippy, most amazing thing I've ever heard. If you've never seen a Newfoundland, they are giant. <laughs> they are huge and they've got the biggest butts. They're huge fluffy dogs, okay? They're so cute. But personality wise, they are so calm. They are so collected. They are not barkers unless they are telling you something's wrong. Like, hey, there's an intruder. I'm gonna bark. Hey, there's a fire. The house is on fire. Come on, like we gotta get out. Not only are they extremely smart and they can do that, but they are so good with children. They get it, they're like, this is a kid, they're gonna be rough with me. It's fine, they're very patient, they're the best. So we mentioned they are large. They are known as an XL or an XXL dog breed. They're huge. Females can weigh from 100 to 120 pounds and 26 inches tall, and then males weigh anywhere between 130 and 150 pounds up to 28 inches tall. 
That's a hefty beast, okay? When there are puppies, they eat like crazy. They should weigh 100 pounds within the first year of um, feeding, I guess you could say. And then after that, their metabolism kind of just chills out and they don't have to eat as much. But in that first year, you wanna feed them a ton because they need to gain that weight. They have medium hair length. Like they aren't super long haired, they aren't super short. They're pretty medium. Um, I would say that they also don't shed very much. If they do shed, it's like big chunks of hair because they're getting rid of that like undercoat for summer. Also read that a lot of them drool like crazy. Now our dog, Shauncey, I don't think she drooled very much, but it may have been because she was a half breed. So I'm gonna say they do drool a lot. <laughs> So if you can't handle the drool, then probably don't get a new fee um, if it's that big of a deal. You might just have to get used to it if you love everything else about them. They live between eight to 10 years, which is pretty common for a giant dog. But I do have to say there are a couple things that suck when it comes to having big dogs. One thing that happens with big dogs is their hips start to hurt and they eventually just are immobile. What happened with Chauncey is her hips got so bad that she didn't even wanna get up and go to the bathroom or go eat. And we had to put her down cause she was just very immobile and old and just couldn't do anything. And it was so sad and in pain, lots of pain. Um, Newfoundlands, like full bred, they have really big butts. So you can only imagine what their hips are gonna go through when they get to an older age. So you really have to be aware of that. Another thing is, is they need the exercise. If you want a lazy dog, a Newfoundland is probably not gonna be um, fitting for your family. You want to be able to get at least an hour of exercise for your new fee a day. Whether that's having a huge backyard and they can play in the backyard or taking them to the water, which is huge. They love the water. I mean, they were born with webbed feet. You have to give these dogs exercise or they just become big lumps. So as long as you keep them moving and keep them active, their bodies may not break down as soon as some dogs. So there you go, guys. All about the Noof. He gave you the history, the personality, the characteristic traits, the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful <laughs> of this dog. I recommend getting a Newfoundland if you love big, beautiful dogs. Especially if you have kids, they're so good with kids. And especially if you're an active person and you can get them out and about. Thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of All About the Noof. Uh, this is a fun one. I'm learning a lot. Leave a comment down below. Let us know if you've got a noof. Drop their names. We want to see it. We love you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. Like, share, comment. Don't forget to um, click the dinghy so you can be notified every time we have a new episode come up and about. And uh, we will see you guys next week. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. Bye. <laughs> yeah.